I wasn't even going to show this because I didn't think it would be interesting, but he said there's going to be a story and he's going to be intriguing. So I found the next 20. It was bad. And then I turned it in and it gave me an incense I probably won't even use. Get some worthwhile info. Look, York, this is the first person I've ever I became a gravekeeper here. That's over a century ago. Sure you don't have the wrong grave? No, this is definitely the one. So he's been there for a hundred years. No, okay. No, he hasn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, how old are you then, buddy? You have no concept of age. Now go on and take the fourth album. Oh, I'll do that one later. He'll tell us what he is after we collect all five. Okay. I'm not collecting the next 20. What you get for doing all five albums is actually a pretty good item. It's probably one of the better items you get. It's a, uh, lets you carry ten more inventory. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and give this man his stuff. So let's do that. Oh, also, I've been doing funny things while writing. Let me see if I can do, do, do it. Come here. Whee! You have to kind of like hit an edge. And then jump. Or any jump. I've been flying. Flying everywhere. Dang it. Didn't mean to hit the wall. Imagine if I was going really fast. Whee! Yeah, it's that. Okay, so let's go in here and turn this in. <laughs> I've had to have things to keep me entertained. Hopefully he doesn't make me go and find three more items. That will, uh... Make me mad. I sincerely hope this is the last of God's divine errands. That makes two of us. Heavenly. Truly heavenly. He threw away all the spam, the red beans, and the spinach. I don't believe this. All this time, he was only after the cans? Shh. Be quiet, Agent York. He's doing holy work. Just be quiet and watch. What a fragrant press flower. Thank you for this blessing, O oh Lord. Yes, Sack. As fragrant as a urinal cake. Shh. Behold! It is finished! Our Lord is enraptured. Take this, my lambs, and let it serve you. I'm gonna leave now. No, so, I guess we'll click on. We'll get it. We'll click on this. Just take it, Agent York. Folks say Pastor Sanders' instruments have special powers. Special powers? Yes, it is the truth, my lost lambs. Have faith. The Lord guides me to create the perfect instrument for each citizen of our town. Each instrument's effects differ by person too. In your case, you were blessed with three drums and a special flower. This is the will of the Lord. You must accept it and have faith. <laughs> if you ever find yourself lost again, return to me at any time. Patty, I'm curious. Do you have an instrument too? Huh? Me? Of course not. 
Why would I ever want one of those stupid things? I'm fine just watching you adults play your silly little games. <sighs> Why is she so annoying? Zack, the pressed flower we took from the bathroom ended up coming straight back to us. Yeah, so, uh, why'd we steal it then? So now, now what do we do? Wait, do we not know what we do with it now? Do, it, do I play it? Do I play it? I guess we're gonna have a cutscene when we leave and it's... Tell me where to go next, or it's going to be like, Oh, man, you got the drums. Then it's going to be like, Go here and do things, because I'm the spirit man. Hey, Agent York, what's next? Fear not, Patty. Our next stop is that stylish woman's house. Her name is Helena Doman, and apparently she lives in this town. Go meet her? You know her? Uh, yeah. Everyone calls her Lena. Hey, how'd you figure out her name anyway? No one told you, right? That's true. No one told me. Verbally. By pure chance, Zack and I happened to acquire this. We picked it up from the ground while the pastor was busy crying. Patty, this is a prescription for a female hormone medication which means this person is undergoing hormone treatment. Understand? It's the Oracle. This is the ticket to the goddess that we were meant to find at the White Hall. I just remembered something that Melvin said to me in the holding cell. Professor R isn't exactly a normal woman, according to him. Now it all makes sense, Patty. Lena Doman is the stylish woman we've been searching for. Professor R in the flesh. You know, Agent York, you might actually have some talent after all. You're like 12. Shouldn't you be in school? Yes, I'll be honest with you, Patty. Both Zack and I are extremely talented. So I hope you can trust us and continue working as our assistant. Did we make it just in time to, uh... Oh no, he's back in there. Then why was he in? Okay, I'm not gonna ask. I'm not asking any more questions. Uh, not asking any more questions. So, 1300's one, so the 1700 would be... 7 o'clock. That opens up at... Oh, it's open now. I'm gonna go get the drink of the day! Can't remember if I got Monday's drink. I guess we'll go find out. Why? Because I don't know. I'm compelled to do everything. But we have to go to Miss R's house or Professor R. I know where it is because I found it when I was doing... Or I think I found it. When I was doing... Nope, that's where it was that last album it said i needed or it showed a house and so i was looking at all the little spots where it was like specific houses looking things and i didn't see because most of the other places are businesses or big buildings and so i saw this red mark here so i ran over there that's what it was so i just assumed that that's was their house Don't hit me! No, come here! What the... Oh, I was gonna sketch. What the hell? How's this... Where are you... What are you... Wait, didn't we take... Her car here. Did she leave and then come back? Anyway. Monday's drink. Let's, let's figure out what it is. We're Bureau Man. You ever catch... Um... 
Do we get the talkers in an order? Sometimes folks feel like drinking. One more truth bomb for you. Yeah. I guess. I You'll be back. Yeah. Remember. We'll. The oh tequila sunrise, yeah, sharp tequila mixed with sweet scent of grenadine syrup and an acidic bittersweet orange. The taste also has its own progressive gradient, <laughs> just like the visual color of a sunrise. This burning sunrise of a cocktail is the perfect way to start off your week. Yeah. I see, you really do make it sound like the perfect cocktail for a Monday. By the way, Xavier, did you ever see- oh. <sighs> I really don't care about this- I guess I should stop. This film only focuses on one thing, the actions that the characters take. And why do the characters act the way they do? What are they feeling? There are so many scenes in which it is impossible to understand either of those things. It's incredible. Real humans aren't like the characters we watch in films. Real humans would never act in line with some character arc. And this film perfectly depicts that reality. <laughs> I like how he's not even paying attention now. Listen up, Bureau. He doesn't watch movies. He's too busy not wearing pants. He's a busy man being naked and keeping his underwear glistening. Play music during the day and work as a bartender at night. You play music during the night, too, sometimes. Now we drink the drink. Oh, did we drink it? Wait, can I not talk to him now? Well, sometimes. F yeah. I'll take another one. You'll be back, you remember. Okay. So now that we're in a stupor, I need to f save the game. Because I haven't done it in a while. And now we're going to go to... Professor R's house? Yeah! Which I think is on the other side of everywhere from here. I think. Wow, I'm slower. Am I all wobbly? Alright. Um, it's all the way over there. So give me a second. That's our target. So I don't need to repair. We'll see if I can do some sick jumps, bruh. Oh, oh, here's one. <laughs> nope. Here. Nope. Is this a sick jump or is this a sick jump? Okay. Sick job! Nope. No sick jumps for me. Oh, hey, look! There's that... Oh, that's the sports car owner. Gotcha. Well, let's see what... Well, okay, we're there. <laughs> Walk up and we're there. 
The address on the prescription led us to this house. Seems like she ain't home. No lights on either. Or is she? I'm drunk. Hey, hello. Professor R's never home, you know. Patty, why do you know so much about Professor R? I don't know that much, really. Okay, I, I'm calling it now, Patricia's the killer. Like, no matter what we've seen, she's killing everybody, she's evil, she's, she's the one. But you're the first person in town who mentioned her name to me. You also knew about San Rouge, didn't you? And when I tried to ask you more about it back then, you gave me an evasive answer. You're my assistant, aren't you? If you are, then you need to tell me everything you know about this case. Daddy don't like Lena. He said it's stupid for a man to want to turn into a woman. What? And he told me I ain't supposed to talk about her. He said that if you knew someone like her was living here, Agent York, you'd start to hate this town. Yikes. That's a... That's a... That's a... That's a take. Not a good one. That's ridiculous. Why would I ever hate this town? Because one of its inhabitants is transgender? Why in the world would that make a difference to me? The other folks in town said the same thing as Daddy. They all know about Sam Rouge and Professor R. And about how she's waging war against the Clarksons. But they all say we ain't supposed to talk about it. Why are your eyes so dead and lifeless? Uh... So, I... And here, I'd assumed that ignorant way of thinking died out with the 20th century. I guess I really am an outsider after all. I thought that everyone was cooperating with my investigation. But it turns out they were all hiding key information from me. Damn it, Zack. Mm. This just made me hate the countryside for the first time in my entire life. Bro, calm down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for being so loud, Patricia. But just remember this. Person's birthplace, nature, race, and physical features have no bearing on their value as a human being. We're always free, and we should respect each other just the way we are. So you shouldn't feel a need to hate Lena for no reason. No matter what the people around you say, you can't let them control you. Sometimes things like common sense and decency can end up deeply hurting other people. I sincerely hope you don't forget that. Okay, I won't. But if Lena's committed a crime, that's a different story altogether. She may be a social minority, but she's still free and capable of knowing the difference between right and wrong. Professor R, I sincerely hope she's smart enough to understand that. All right, so where are we supposed to head out to now, then? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, never mind. Here, here comes our uh, show-me-where-to-go guy. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. Do this and you will see the other world. Zach, did you hear that? It's another oracle. I assume this means we're getting closer to the truth. Well, this is good. We don't have any other big clues at the moment. What do you say we continue the skeletal gentleman's game? So here's another thing I'm not really After keen I spent on. the 90s listening to nothing but punk rock, 
I fell out of touch with music, but the digital audio player I received last Christmas changed everything. Nowadays, people can walk around with thousands of songs in their pockets. You following me here, Zach? That's right. This oracle is connected to music. So, the whole... In... This game is... I'm not going to say more linear, but... York does isn't figuring anything out himself. He's not figuring out where to go on his own. He's not investigating anything to figure out what he's supposed to be doing. He's following some <laughs> Hoongan's direction, which, like, I don't know, I guess that's a thing. I just think it's more, he would look more like a actual investigative agent if he actually figured out where he was supposed to go on his own. The two ends refer to neither periods nor a movie's credits. They refer to the last letter of the alphabet, Z. And what's a word that has two Z's in it? Jazz, of course. Remember, we're in Louisiana here. The fire water is even easier. It's alcohol. Let's go to that jazz bar and have a drink while we consider our next plan of action. Don't worry. This is all part of our job. Isn't it, Zach? I mean, I was just there. But now I have to go back, I guess. Like, they give you this little bit where it's like, oh, I figured out what to do. Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. Come in. Oh, Daddy. DC Eagle here. Got any news for me? Well, Mr. York, uh, we got ourselves a bit of a problem here. What sort of problem? Looks like Daniel's gathered up a group of people to help him find Galena's killer on his own. If the Clarksons get serious, they'll probably put an end to this case before we even know what hit us. And it sure won't be wrapped up the way you wanted to, Mr. York. Yes, that certainly is a problem. Judging from Daniel's temperament, things are bound to get out of control. Hmm. Melvin, I need to find Professor R as soon as possible. P Professor R? That's right. That ain't such a good idea. I didn't ask for your personal opinion, Melvin. Especially if it comes from an antiquated, xenophobic way of thinking that's characteristic of rural towns. Whoa now, Mr. York. What's going on here? I didn't... This conversation is over, Melvin. You need to figure out what the Clarksons are planning. Call me again as soon as you know. Uh, fine. Whatever you say. Also, sorry, but would you mind coming to pick up Patricia? I would never think to take an innocent girl like her into an adult watering hole. You just did! Like ten minutes ago. Yeah, you're right. CLG's still too young for that. Wait, Daddy! Agent York! I'm going too! Don't let me out of this! No, Patricia. You signed a contract with me, remember? I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. That's not what it means! Patty, you're smart. Shockingly so. But you're still a child. And there are certain things a child like you doesn't need to learn about yet. Just go home for today. Zack and I are both in agreement on this one. Yeah. Mature. <laughs> I'm so glad you understand, Patty. Okay, Melvin, that's that. I'm leaving her here. The rest is in your hands. Roger that. I'll take care of her, Mr. York. So we have to go drink the fire water at the owl's nest. Can we take her car? <laughs> Can we... Here we go. I have it. Can we... Can we sketch? 
Can I grab onto the back? Nope, that's what I was saying. Now, we wait. <laughs> so we have to go to the watering hole, the owl's nest. So we'll go do that. Is there a... Uh... No, there isn't. There isn't a fast travel thing around here. Well, bleh. Well, we're out here. And we do have the fourth album, so she should actually... How's the investigation coming? Must be going. Give us a new quest. Yahoo, Yorkie. Thanks for choosing another hotspot. No, I need to use them because I need to, uh... Get the floor de lees there. The next one. Heck yeah! Hot spot five. Sweet. Alright. Let's go into the owl's nest. Look, Zack. That seat is beckoning us. Is it? Is this going to introduce us into the bartender when we've already met him and everything? Let's see what happens. Listen to the two ends and drink dry the fire water. Do this and you will see the other world. Hungan's oracle pointed us to this bar. So we must have to do something here. But I feel like the fire water part is missing something. Huh? So am I supposed to like... Look and see... Ooh, the large go sign. Let's inspect. That was what I was looking for? Zach, do you see that? It's a gigantic go sign. I think someone's trying to send us a very powerful message here. That settles it. This must be a singularity. Beautiful lipstick. The color red suits you. Thank you. Red is the color of life. No human who knows the joy of life would ever hate this color. Or would they? Maybe. Maybe not. But I know of a drug with a red color that certainly doesn't signify life. It sometimes even steals the lives of those who drown themselves in it. Catch my drift? Before a candle's flame burns out, it burns brighter than ever before, blazing like a shining red star. Don't you think that instant is more valuable than a century of smoldering? That blaze doesn't cast out the darkness. It only emphasizes it. But where are my manners? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Let me get straight to the point. You were present when Lise Clarkson was murdered. And 
you were also involved with Galena Clarkson's death. Correct? Agent Morgan, are you a man who can hold his liquor? I'd love some fire water. We're similar, you and I. Really? I don't see the resemblance. Well, you should. Look deeper. Think about who you were when you were first born, and who you are now. Different selves exist inside your body. Are you talking about Zack? <laughs> I was born as a man, but in my heart, I wasn't so. And this is a small town. I experienced far more scorn and discrimination than anyone could ever imagine. Especially from my father. Parents are supposed to raise their children with love. That's the norm, right? Not for me. I was raised by my father's flesh-seething hatred. So you ran away from home, started making drugs, then seduced a young life and destroyed it? That story makes no sense to me. Think about it. They didn't burn you in a witch hunt, nor did they ever try to take your life. Yet here you are, letting your selfish fantasies drive you to torch the entire town with vengeful fire. Why did you abandon your inheritance only to end up in a place like this? What do you hope to achieve? <laughs> You've already figured out that much. Leonard doesn't exist anymore. He disappeared from me a long time ago. All that's left now is the Red Soul. The Red Soul? The Red Soul gives me strength and courage. And I vowed to use that strength to change this world. The Red Soul has the power to amplify the unique characteristics we all possess. Mentally and physically. That's why I created the Holy Red Powder. So that everyone can enjoy its divine benefits. Mm. That's ridiculous. Our world is home to scarier monsters than violence and prejudice. Ugh. Zack. Someday, even your best friend will abandon you. No. Never. And in the end, you'll be all alone. Zack and I will always be together. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! Where are you, Daddy? Don't leave me here! Daddy! I can't, I can't find, find mommy, mommy either. either. <laughs> don't, don't, don't leave, leave me, me alone. alone. Please? Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Please, Daddy. Mm. Oh, she got a sack. 
She spiked the drink with some sort of sleeping pill. She spiked the drink with some sort of sleeping pill. And when we come back, we will figure out the, 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 the bad, the downside, the, what happens because of it. In the other world. Yes. I have to say the most, the most interesting part of this game so far has been, like, these, these cutscenes. But even then, half of it doesn't even really make sense. So, we'll talk about it next time. So when we come back, we'll continue on. So till then, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.